Welcome back guys, Meme Solo back with a brand new video. On today's video, I'm going to be doing a uh, still book collection. Uh, I have a lot with me right now, uh, over 30. And then I have some that are not with me uh, that I should bring back with me next time I go up to uh, my parents' house. And that is, it's still over 30. <laughs> so uh, let's get this started. Uh, first, I'm going to show you a still book that... Uh, I don't really mind showing off like right off the bat. Uh, this right here, it come. Uh, I have these protective cases on them, so that way it doesn't scratch up the uh, still book. Shout out to my friend Brandon for introducing me to these things, because I have no idea these were a thing. Uh, so, thank you, Brandon, for showing me those. Uh, gonna keep buying them for now. <laughs> um, so yeah. These right here are still book uh, cases, and you can actually, it doesn't really reflect that much on the camera, so that's pretty good. So I can get through this video without any glare. Uh, some of these do have designs inside, some of them don't. So um, if I don't like take it out of the case or anything like that, it doesn't have any uh, design inside. So <clears throat> I guess I'll start off with the Evil Dead since I started off with this one. Uh, here's the front of the case right here. Uh, I can't really see it, but there's like a, looks like a little poster. Then on the back we have Ash uh, and his glory. So first still book done. All right, I'm going to have a little total like right here of all the still books that I have. So that way I know, and that way you know how many still books I have as well. It's not a huge collection, but it's a pretty decent size. So let's uh, go to the second still book. So I have two still books of the same movie. Uh, one in 4K, one in Blu-ray, and I was going to give one away, but I have decided not to do that because uh, I don't want to. So I'll start off with the Blu-ray first, uh, Rocket Man. This is the uh, Blu-ray book. and if I'm being completely honest, I like the 4K a lot more than the Blu-ray, uh, but here's the front, here's the side, pretty basic, and here's the back. Uh, it's him in front of a stadium in one of his iconic outfits. And here is the 4K still book. Boom. I love this one a whole lot more than this one. Uh, here's the back. I love this back a whole lot more. I, I, I love it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, those are my Rocketman still books. There's so many. I don't know which one to go for next. <laughs> So I guess I'm just going to go in order from stack to stack. So uh, the next still book, let me take it out of the case uh, so that way you can see it a little bit better, is uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. It's my top five. Okay, so actually, this movie and Rocketman are tied for number one of my favorite movies of all time. I can't pick which one I love more. Baby Driver. Uh, this still book, if you notice it looks like a cassette tape. And on the back, it has this design. I love this still book. Uh, this is one of my favorite still books ever that I own, uh, that I have seen. Beautiful still book. Beautiful movie. Uh, Edgar Wright, I fucking love you, dude. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's my Baby Driver still book. Wish it was in 4K, but that's fine. I don't care. I'm, I may do that anyway, because there's some other ones that I want to do that with. So I may just uh, buy a 4K copy, put it in here. All right, next one. This is one that I didn't know how to still book, and I'm so happy that it does, uh, because this is another one of my favorite movies of all time. And uh, it is a, it's this. It's Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. This is one of my favorite comedy movies ever. So there's a scene where he, they're like at a dinner talking about like sales and everything like that. And there's like this giant bee. That comes out and everything. It's fucking wild. I can't just like, <laughs> but uh, they don't show it. It's like a dialogue sequence. But on the still book, they show you that scene, and I think that is fucking hilarious. Uh, I think that's a, a brilliant idea. Uh, I'm so glad that I own this. I found this on eBay actually for super cheap. It was like 25 bucks. 
Uh, some of these I ha I did find on eBay. Some of these I didn't. Uh, I, I will tell you which ones I did. And then on the inside, we have a photo of the Style Boys from Popstar. Never stop, never stop. Um, funny, funny movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend watching it. I don't want to say too much about some of these, like, movies. Because if you haven't seen them, like, obviously, I don't I don't want you to, like... I, I prefer going into movies blind sometimes. And if I'm watching something, they're just like, oh, yeah, people would love this. Or, like, my friends would love this. Uh... Yeah, I'm not going to tell you anything about it. You just kind of have to watch it. This next one uh, is a movie that just came out recently. Uh, it is a Studio Ghibli film. And if you don't know which what that is already, it is Earwig and the Witch. I was not very sure how I would like this movie considering the 3D animation. But this movie is actually pretty good. It's... Uh, I wouldn't say it's one of their best, but it is, you know, it is a pretty good movie. Um, and here's the inside artwork. Uh, it's a scene from the movie. You can't really see that because of the glare. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's it was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. And I found this out after I watched it. It's based on a children's book, which I had no idea. But I thought that was pretty cool. This still book, uh found it at like Target for like $25. Yeah, glad that I own this. Uh, I'm going to buy more Studio Ghibli films uh, because I do like some of the movies like Ponyo and stuff like that. Next stack, Adam's Family. Didn't know this had a still book and the still book is actually a pretty cool still book. There's no artwork inside so I'm just going to show you the outside. It's like a pop art type cover on, uh, right here. But I do love this still book. As you can see, I took out the DVD. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy... I No, I already bought Adam's Family Values. So when that gets here, I'm, I'm going to put the Blu-ray of Adam's Family Values in here. So that way I have both Adam's Family movies inside one still book. I got this at FYE for 6 bucks. This was actually pretty cheap. It was on sale. So I was just like, I like the Adam's Family movies. And I didn't know they had a still book. And that still book looks pretty fucking sick. So I'm going to get it. And I did. Uh, next one, uh, I found this at Walmart, out of all places, <laughs> and it is Mothra. To be honest, I've never seen the Mothra movies. I have no idea why, but I haven't seen Mothra, and uh, there's a still book for it, so now's the perfect time to watch it. On the back, it's Mothra fighting... I don't know, because I don't know, I haven't watched the fucking movie, so, uh, yeah. On the inside, it has this artwork right here. Can't tell you how the fucking movie is. Uh, Trent, fucking Godzilla fan, who is obsessed with Godzilla, who's got me into Godzilla, uh, can probably tell me how good this movie is, so I trust him. <laughs> this next one was pretty cheap, considering that it is a 4K still book. This is another one I got off eBay, and it's Ghost in the Shell. I've never seen this movie. I, I've watched, like, uh, Akira and stuff like that, and the uh, Serial Ghibli movies recently, and I was just like, I'm not a big fan of, like, the anime shows, but the movies are pretty fucking good. So I decided to get this because I heard this was good. And the cool thing about this is, okay, so this right here, I can, the ear part, is the seal book. So once you take uh, the sleeve off, here's, like, a uh, robot type thing. I don't fucking know what these this movie is about, so, uh, yeah. Sorry if I'm, but, like, sound stupid when describing this, but <laughs> here's the full artwork. <laughs> I do like this uh, artwork. It is uh, amazing. Uh, on the inside, I don't know what the fuck this is. Uh, I know it has something to do with the movie. I couldn't tell you what the fuck it was. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh, excited to watch it whenever I get the chance to watch it. The next one is uh, probably another one of my favorite still books that I own. I mean, I enjoy all of these, but this one uh, is pretty fucking cool. The Breakfast Club. Looks like a locker. I thought that was so fucking cool. <laughs> Here's the back. It's like hey man, stuff like that. It's, it's pretty cool. And then on the inside, uh, so yeah, you have the locker, right? And then on the inside, it looks like you're opening up a locker. That's so fucking sick. <laughs> I thought that's so cool. And then you have photos uh, or stills from the movie. I think that I love this still book. Got this at Target for like it was super cheap actually. It was like ten dollars. Yeah, but yeah, The Breakfast Club, really good movie. Really like the still book. I also have another copy of this on Blu-ray, where it looks like a VHS case, and I I like that case a lot too. <laughs> Alright, so on to my next two movies. Uh, these are sequels. 
and uh, I want to get the other still book that uh, connects to this one. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I'll just fucking start off. Uh, boom! Ghostbusters. I love this still book. The artwork on this is so incredible. Here it is. Here's the full still book. It is the library scene at the beginning of the movie. Uh, and then here's the inside. And then the artwork is the library. Uh, I, I love this so much. I love the artwork. And then here's Ghostbusters 2. I love this still book as well. Probably not as much as the first one. But uh, yeah, here's the full artwork. And then here is the inside still book. Um, so the Ghostbusters movie from 2016, I believe, has the same artwork. And I want it so much because it's the scene where they're standing at the, uh, the, the hole and the ground and everything and all the ghosts are coming out. I want that still book. Uh, I should gotten it when I got, uh, saw it a while back at, uh, Best Buy and I don't know why I did, didn't get it, but, um, yeah, I'll probably find that soon and get it because I want to add it to my collection because, uh, I actually think that Ghostbusters was pretty fucking good. So, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're done with the, the first stack. On to the next one. <laughs> All right. Here is the beginning of the first stack. All right. Shaun of the Dead. I love this movie. I'm a big Edgar Wright fan. Uh, the fact that I now own this on Stillbook makes me so happy. Something fell out of here. No. A little plastic bit fell out. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know what that is. Okay, it has nothing to do with the closing of it, so that's cool. Here's the front of the still book. Ah, my movies are falling on me. They're fucking attacking me. Here's the back. And here is the inside of the still book. Ah, I'm blocking his face. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, my screen goes out. And, uh, it pisses me off. Here is the inside. And then here is the outside artwork as well. Love this movie. Alright, so this next one I got at Target for super cheap. Again, this is a 4K still book uh, of a movie that came out recently. And it is one of my favorite war movies of all time. Next to Saving Private Ryan. And it is 1917. I've wanted this still book for a while now. I found it on eBay and it's fucking expensive for some dumb fucking reason. But I found it, on, <laughs> I found it at Target for $20. So here's the front, and here's the back, and then here's the inside artwork. I absolutely love this movie. Um, this is probably my top ten, I would say, because every time I watch this, I, uh, you know, I tell people to shut up. I don't look at my phone or anything like that. I love this movie. Next one, probably my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie. I haven't seen a lot of his movies. I've seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Hateful Eight, Reservoir Dogs. I haven't I haven't seen Pulp Fiction. But out of all of those, and plus this one, this is probably my favorite, Django Unchained. Um, there's another still book that surfaces around that looks like this. I want this one. I, I would be proud to give this, one, give this one away if I had this one. But anyway, here's the front, here's the back. There's nothing on the inside, but the disc looks cool. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had this for a while. This was one of my very first still books, actually. Uh, this is what started my collection, was this movie right here. So this one kind of has some sentimental, sentimental value, if you will. Uh, this is one of my favorite Stephen King movies, because this was one one of the, this, not one of, pro, I think, no, it was not the, vi <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this was not one of the first Stephen King movies that I watched, this was the very first Stephen King movie that I watched, and I love this still book, Christine. I love this movie. Not Nothing on the inside. Here's the disc, though. But, uh, you know, the the case is very uh, simple. Love this still book. Uh, like I said, it's it's not much of anything, but I do love uh, this artwork right here. <clears throat> and I do love the movie. Hopefully they don't uh, remake it, but I'm pretty sure they will in the future. Um, so if it's as good as this one, uh, then yeah. Make it on the level of it, and I'll be happy. Okay, so this one right here actually found uh, at a thrift store out of all places right the ring I've never seen this movie to be honest this movie was four dollars 
And if you're asking me how do I remember that, that's because it's on the fucking back. And I can't take it off because the sticky shit goes on and then it'll fuck up and stay in this case forever. And I don't want to deal with that. So I just put it in the case with the sticker on it. I need to get nail polish remover if I can scrape it off. I haven't seen it. Uh, don't want to watch it at night. And one thing that I found out recently, can't see that probably, but it's a DreamWorks movie. I have no idea that that was a fucking DreamWorks movie. Uh, this next one is one of my, it's an all-time favorite movie of mine, uh, I love it so much. Uh, not one of my favorite movies of all time, but a movie that I will gladly sit down to watch every single time, uh, it comes on, and just feel like a kid again, you know? Uh, The Wizard of Oz. Uh, this still book is actually really pretty. Got this at Target for, like, $15. This is 70th anniversary, uh, and here's the inside artwork. I'm trying to get it so you can't see the glare, but it's the witch and the scarecrow and uh, Dorothy. Why did I say fucking Wendy? Why did Why did I almost say Wendy? <laughs> but yeah, this still book, <laughs> this still book is gorgeous, and I love it. All right, the next one is a movie I've never seen or heard of, but I found it at a Big Lots, and it's one of the. Uh, It's one of these still books, uh, Serenity. I've never heard of this movie, uh, but I love still books, so I was just like, I'll, eh, like, I'll, I'll fucking watch that shit, yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's a big dent right here, uh, which doesn't really, I mean, it bothers me, but then again, I don't know what this movie is. I've, I, I asked uh, my friend Trent, he said this was like the movie to close up Firefly, which I have heard of. I didn't know there was a movie to close it all together. But yeah, I own it. So I haven't seen fucking Firefly though. So I'm guess I have to watch that before I watch this, or else I'll be fucking confused. This next one is a still book that I got uh, after I watched Ready Player One. Uh, whenever I moved down here, uh, Buckaroo Banzai. I actually watched this movie, and uh, don't ask me uh, to describe it because I will tell you I have no fucking clue how to describe this movie. But yeah, it has Jeff Goldblum, uh, John Lithgow. That's about it. That's all that I know. Uh, this is the outside artwork. And this is the inside artwork. Uh, but yeah, this movie was actually pretty good. Uh, went in knowing nothing about it. It came out... Uh, like, uh, okay, that's cool. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, on to the second stack of movies. Starting off with the classic. Um, by classic, I mean this movie came out in 1930. 1932, The Mummy. I love this still book. And I also have uh, The Invisible Man. Looks like this right here. Colby has this movie. Hasn't watched it yet. Uh, the Invisible Man is actually my favorite uh, classic monster movie. Uh, besides Creature from the Black Lagoon. I've never seen The Mummy, though. But here's what the still book looks like. Here's what the back looks like. And here's what the inside looks like. Pretty cool. Uh, since I found this before this video, I probably will watch it now. Also, it comes uh, has a digital code, so then I'll definitely be watching it. Alright, the next one. I love this still book. This is uh, another one of my favorite that I own. E.T. Here, I love this cover. I love this cover. It's uh, it's great. And then here's the back. It's the classic scene where he's flying over the moon. And the inside of this really threw me... Uh, I was like, what? That's what they chose? And it's this. So you have this amazingness out here, and then you open it up, and it's this. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh... But yeah, uh, glad I own this. I right, the second one that I'm gonna that uh, not second. This is the third one. Uh, I also found this at Fye, and I've wanted this still book for a while, and I could ne I've never been able to find it. And on eBay, uh, eBay, you're either it's either hit or miss. You'll find it for really cheap, or you'll find it for fucking five hundred fucking dollars for God knows reason. <clears throat> Psycho. I love this still book. Look at that. Look at that. That is fucking amazing. And then on the back, it looks like this. It's the house. And a knife. I think that's I think that's so cool. Uh, I found this at FYE for like six bucks. I don't know if I've said that. Um, 
But yeah, six bucks. Here's the inside, turn and base. Uh, being all fucking psycho. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I'll fucking kill myself. Uh, but yeah, love this still book, love this movie. Uh, on to the next one. This one was also another one that I got at the beginning of when I started still book collecting. This is probably, I don't know if this is my favorite. I like it a, 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 a uh, fuck. I like it a lot more than two. And it's Men in Black 3. And uh, there you go. There's the front with Will Smith. And then here's the back with Tommy Lee Jones. And uh, fun fact, I don't know if you can see that, but it's little MIBs. That's cool, huh? Here's the inside. Here's the Blu-ray disc. It's the cake. If you've seen the movie, you know all about the cake. If you haven't, you're fucking confused. Like, what the fuck is that about? This was really cool. Uh, I want to say this is one of my favorite still books that I own, but it is a really cool still book. Really hurts my eyes. On camera, you can see it clear as day, but at, right now, my eyes are hurting. This next one is another one that I found on at Walmart. Out of again, out of all places. Um, oh, cool, it's good, it's fucking, my case is scratched now. Love that. This one also is bent the fuck up. You can see that right there. It follows. I actually really like this cover. And then here's the back. And then on the inside, I have no idea why I fucking have this, but I have the back of the movie. <laughs> uh, inside. But here's the inside of the still book. Right there. I don't know why the fuck it has this. I've tried taking that out, uh, and it's a fucking bitch. So this movie was fucking weird. It was good though, weird, but it was good. Oh, we're almost done. We are almost done. This is sad because I really like showing these off. Okay, so I have a trilogy and a franchise left, plus photos of still books that I don't have with me. Yeah, we're almost done. Sad times, but it's okay because I'll see you again soon with the record video. <laughs> Alright, so this I got at Target for 60 bucks. Found it at Best Buy for almost 70. It's a trilogy, it's in 4K, and it's still book. So I thought 60 was a lot better than 70. And it is Back to the Future. If you've seen these, you know exactly what, I, uh, what this is. So here's the first movie. Here's the front of the still book. Here's the back of the still book. Take the movies out. And then here is the inside of the still book. Here is Back to the Future 2. There is the front of the still book. Here is the back of the still book. And then here is the inside of the still book. Right there. Yeah. And then here is Back to the Future 3. There's the front of the still book, and here is the back of the still book. And here is the inside of the still book. If you haven't guessed already, once you align all three still books up, it creates the full DeLorean. So I'm going to hold these up my best. There we go. Boom. Wow. Look at that. Uh, I love these still books. And I love these, I, I love this trilogy as well. All right. Ugh. This right here was a Christmas gift last, last Christmas. Harry Potter. All the Harry Potter movies on still book. This case is dented up. That is A-OK -okay with me. Not really. I'm kind of upset, but it's fine. These are also in 4K as well. So here we go. This one's hard to get out. Here we go, we got year one, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. There's the front, the sorting hat. And there's the back with Miss McGonagall putting the sorting hat on Harry. And then here is the inside of the still book. It is the, the, the Dursley's house where all the letters are flying in. Year two, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. There is the front. Here is the back, it's when he is about to fight the Bas Basculus, 
I think I said that right. <laughs> and then here is <laughs> the inside of the still book with Harry uh, in front of the uh, decrepit message saying that someone's opened the fucking Chamber of Secrets. Year three, Harry Potter <laughs> escaped from Azkaban. No, and the prisoner of Azkaban. Why the fuck did I say... <laughs> yeah, here's the front. <laughs> and then here's the back. Serious black. And then here is the inside of the still book. It is Harry flying Buckbeak. Woo! So sorry I butchered the name of this movie. Year four, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. There's the Goblet of Fire. And then there is Dumbledore looking at Harry, uh, about to bitch slap him. I should have said spoilers. If you haven't seen, ah, fuck it, whatever. Uh, there is Harry Potter fighting he who shall not be named in the uh, graveyard. Year five, Harry Potter. In order of the phoenix. There's the front. There's the back. And then here is the inside with Luna Lovegood. And then year six, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Here's the front. Here is the back. And here is the inside. They still work with Dumbledore. Uh, R.I.P. to him. Whoops, did I say that out loud? If you haven't seen it, I just borrowed that fucking shit for you. Year 7, Part 1, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Uh, with the Horcrux on the front of it. And then Harry and the gang. And then on the inside of the still book, we have Professor Snape about to fucking kill someone. I don't know who. Who could it be? Is he about to kill someone? I have no idea. Year 7, Part 2, uh, Deathly Hallows Part 2. There is the, uh... Deathly Hallows symbol. I'm a fucking idiot. Deathly Hallows. Let me redo that. <clears throat> uh, Deathly Hallows Part 2. With the Deathly Hallows on the front. We got the Elder Wand. Uh, yeah. Here's the back. You know this scene. Uh, even if you can't see this, you know this scene. Just by the colors. And then on the inside, we have, uh, Voldemort. Fucking trying to kill Harry. He's a fucking dick. He's just mad that Harry has a nose and he doesn't. Alright, and we are done with this and all the other still books. Like, let's get, let's get a round of applause going. Yeah. Alright, um, so now I leave you with these still books right here. Let me move so you can see the still books. Here they are. Here's the photos. So you, I have Southpaw, Scarface, Scott Pilgrim, Straight Outta Compton, Stripes, and the Blues Brothers. And then here's the back of all the movies right here. So was, uh, you can obviously tell which one's which. Uh, Softballs, boxing gloves. The uh, Scarface and Scott Room, you don't really need to know, but there's the back of Shadow Compton, the back of Stripes, and the back of uh, the Blues Brothers. And on the back of the Blues Brothers ones, if you can't really see it, it's uh, it's one of it's what they say throughout the movie, uh, we're on a mission from God. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, editing me here. Uh, in the process of making this video, I have received, not, not received, but bought four more still books. Two are on their way. One has just shipped, so I'm not going to get that for a while. And then I have received one a couple days ago. So I'm going to show you the one that I have received first and then show you uh, in photos the other three that I have bought. So the first one is Heather's. My girlfriend showed me this movie and I actually really liked it. I've never seen it before until like a few months ago. Um, this movie is actually really good. Uh, so yeah, here's the, fr before I get into this, uh, I actually had, I, I saw this guy on TikTok who collects still books and he had this one and, um, I've tried to find it and it took me a while to find it. So, uh, I finally own this now. So here's the front of, uh, the still book. Here's the back of the still book. And then here is the side of the still book right here on the inside. Get into it. It kind of looks like a notebook. 
Uh, here's what it looks like on the inside. Has a bunch of photos from the movie and a bunch of quotes from the movie as well, which I thought was pretty cool. With uh, the photos, so um, the first one that I bought was uh, this one right here. Um, <clears throat> this was the one that goes with the other two Ghostbusters movie uh, movies. You know, it's brand new, it's sealed. Uh, I got it, it was like 20 bucks, not too bad. Um, so there's that one that I uh, got. It's gonna be here soon. Uh, I'll probably already have it by the time this video gets uploaded. Um, the next one is uh, this one right here, Godzilla 2014. Um, this is actually a pretty nice looking still book if I do say so myself. Uh, but I'm probably gonna do, it, it is a Blu-ray copy inside, so I'm probably gonna buy the 4K Godzilla and then just put it in this case because I really do like this still book. And then the next one, I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> until recently but uh brother bear has a steel book and uh i i found it it was about 40 bucks and now i own it it's gonna be here soon so i wanted to show my steel books because my friends uh really wanted to see them and plus i thought millions of people like watching people uh show off their steel books too so i thought hey why not just show them to you know my friends and to you guys as well so yeah that brings uh my total steel book count to 46 I didn't know I had that many uh that's crazy uh I didn't know like I said I didn't know I had, I had that many <laughs> it's incredible uh but yeah I'm gonna take it to past me so we can conclude <laughs> can close out this video if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and comment below I will put a link down in the description for these cases right here these plastic cases to protect your still books if you're a big movie collector if you're a big still book collector as well. So it doesn't have to be for movies. It could be for video games as well. I just prefer uh, movies because I don't have a lot of uh, still books for video games. I do, but uh, I don't have them with me. So obviously I can't put them in the cases. But if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and comment below on what some of your favorite still books are. Uh, which ones you liked. Uh, I If you saw any of these and can't really find them, I'll try and help you guys out, uh, because one movie collector to another, one film lover to another, uh, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging, so if you found any of these and was just like, hey, where'd you get that, or how can I find one, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll try and help you guys out, but like I said, let's talk about movies in the comments, uh, let's try not to spread any hate, everyone has their own opinions, so... You know, one person might walk up to me and say, Hey, you haven't seen Pulp Fiction? What are you, a fucking dumbass? I would say, yeah, I haven't seen a movie. Like I said, uh, let's try not to do that. Spread people's opinions down in the comments. We all love movies, so let's not bash another person's opinion on what their favorite movie is or if they haven't seen a movie. So let's keep it positive in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you haven't also subscribed to my channel, uh, I, I've also noticed that a lot of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So how about doing me a favor, getting great content, really, uh, every single time I upload, just hit the subscribe button. I don't even care if you hit the notification bell. Actually, you might want to, uh, because you might get uh, a good video. You might get a trash video like my fucking Doritos review. But hey, that's a good video too. Uh, it's funny. So yeah, just you know, subscribe to the notification bell while you're at it and then uh so yeah i'll see you guys on the next video and uh we'll see you guys next time <laughs> peace out